You're watching Sacon Talks. You're 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 watching. You're watching Sacon 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 Talks. <laughs> oh, don't knock nothing over. Don't knock the tea over. Oh, hello, hello out there in the world. Decided to drop in on y'all. I'm just banging everything, banging my little phone. This is a new phone, by the way. Just banging this phone all around. Hi guys, I'm Sekon Simblo. And if you've never been to my channel, I'm an actress, a singer, a speaker. I do a whole bunch of other stuff, but I love YouTube. And so I'm on here making tea and smoothies and just checking in, sharing with the world. I like to talk about different things, whatever's happening, whatever's going on. And I decided this evening to come and check in, come back often to this channel. Friday nights, I do a nice Friday night chill, talk about life or whatever happened that week, whatever's on my mind. Let me check my little book. Let me check my book. Mm. Yeah, I want to talk about a few things. I don't know if there are going to be a lot of people in the live chat tonight because I just decided to hop on here. Um, just decided to just hop on here. I was doing some um, some media. You know, we're in that quarantine zoom pre-recorded video world which actually ooh, it actually is right up my alley because i love doing tapes you know it's a part of my career as an actress i do audition tapes i do different things like that and um so yeah i had to do some tapes and baby since my hair and makeup was done I said, hey, let me go ahead and just hop on here tonight. So here I am. Hi, guys. Again, I'm Saikon, and you are watching Saikon Talks. So I'm going to have a little tea. I'm going to have a little hair in my mouth. We are going to do a vanilla, let's see, vanilla rose chai rooibos organic tea. Ataya. Hashtag Ataya, y'all. We love a good African tea ceremony up in this piece. If you are here, say hello. Say what's up in the live chat if you are watching. If you're shy, I understand. I can be a little shy myself. Mm, this tea smells so good. You know, I gotta, I do voiceovers and stuff for a living and I love, love communication. So I have to do my my ASMR for those people who like a little sound. If, if you don't like it, it's going to drive you crazy. But if you do like it, you can enjoy this plastic sound. The sound of this plastic. Also, you can enjoy the sound of my voice and the sprinkle of this tea. Um, if you visit my social media at Saycon Symbol on Instagram, at Saycon Talks on Instagram, Hell, at Vintage Pop Soul, if you want to check out some of those vibes. I make tea. I do these things quite often. Happy belated Mother's Day to anyone who is a mother or who functions as a mother. Aunties, play mamas, all that. You guys, this past weekend was so beautiful. Um, Erica Badu and Jill Scott had the wonderful Versus competition. Uh, Battle is supposed to be a battle, right? It was wonderful. You guys, this tea smells so good. It was a wonderful um, evening. And it culminated on the evening of our American Mother's Day this past Sunday evening. I was caught up in their magic. So I'm giving y'all a little bohemian chic tonight. Cause I was caught up. I was caught up in the rapture of those ladies. I was caught up. So I'm giving y'all, I'm giving y'all sparkly beads and tea. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. I'm just let it, let it stew. Let me move this. I don't want to mess nothing up. Y'all, I happen to uh, have 
bought myself a little gift. Look at my little gift I bought myself. It cost a whole dollar. Um, my friend, one of my good friends, Christine Horn, acting coach, actress, fabulous, amazing booking magnet. Um, check out the interview that I did with her on my channel. Um, Christine and I, we always make jokes after you've done a whole day of working, teaching, acting, auditioning, whatever it is you've been doing, you sometimes you have to take a little traipse. So Christine was like, girl, I'm traipsing through the store. You know, you traipse through the grocery store. But nowadays everything's closed. And so my traipse consisted of um, going to the drugstore to pick up some dishwashing liquid. And they had this big bowl full of like hair accessories and like little bracelets and earrings and stuff like that. And like, what's so funny, guys, is I'm not even a big shopper. I'm not a shopper like that. But the girly girl in me, when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's like, it looks like, it's like pearls. This episode is only going to be really satisfying if you like ASMR, I think. All it is, is little faux pearl. Oh, oh, it's long. I could put it around my neck. A girl needs a pearl necklace. <laughs> I can put it around my neck, but I thought it was a bracelet. Look at my cheap accessories bringing me joy. You guys, I'm a girly girl, so you know. I recently discovered for myself that gifts are a part of my love language. Um, I am wearing my pajamas. Let me let y'all see my pajamas. These are my pajamas. It says love on the front. It don't look like pajamas, but that really, that really is pajamas. Um, I had on a full little outfit because I was doing some tapes. Um, and <clears throat> I had to take it off. But, you know, I'll wash my face when I'm finished here. Let's look over in the chat and see what's going on. Hi, Kelly Foley. Hey, girl. Kelly Foley says, hey, girl. Hey, Kelly. So let me say hey to you, too. Are you having some tea? Are you having a cup of tea with me? If not, pop a little cup, warm up a little cup of water and get some herbs going. Tea is so good for you. Baby, when I decided to stop drinking soda or cut back on soda, because I, I will have a ginger ale on occasion, I decided to replace it with hot herbs. And so I'm just always drinking tea. I get this bedazzled coconut oil so I can feel nice and moisturized and not look into the uh, camera and think that I'm super ashy on this here live. But yeah, I got to watch that thing and it was like magic. If you watch my last episode, I was talking about how excited I was that it was happening. I was so excited and just like, I was ready for it. Let me tell y'all, I was like, had my Jill Scott, Erica Badu hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Dun, 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 dun. Let me serenade y'all. Who needs to be serenaded? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Mm. I've been talking to this man. He's been saying what I like and he makes me smile when I'm down, so down. He says sweet things in my ear. All the things I need to hear. That song goes hard to the chorus because I'm lonely whenever you're around do 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 because I'm lonely whenever you're around I'm not sponsored by any of the products that I show you guys if you'd like to sponsor me you can inbox me at Saycon 
on Instagram. If you'd like to sponsor me, I drink a lot of tea out in these streets. Let me take these off because my ring light is reflecting on here. I drink a lot of tea out in these tea streets. So I am looking for a tea sponsor. If anybody's interested, you guys, I had a fresh episode of Say Con Talks. Can I hypnotize you guys? It's like, get out. Let me hypnotize you. This is my first lady cup. <laughs> um, First lady of what? I'm the first lady of Ataya. First lady of Ataya tea ceremony. Um, It's like in Senegal, Morocco, they say Ataya. Like, you know, of course we know about the English tea and the Japanese tea. But y'all get into the African tea. Y'all got to get into this. African tea, okay? Serengeti teas. Oh God, they had a post today. I was so excited. They had a post on um, Instagram showing the building of their new location. They had to close. Um, they were already well. They were already planning to close because they're moving to a new location. But you know, of course, the situation that we're in led everybody to have to remix. So that's what I'm doing right now, remixing my life. Who else is remixing? Get that over there. Oh, sorry. Who else is remixing their life right now? That's one of the things I wanted to talk about is the remix. How's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? How's it going? Kelly says, what we talking about? <laughs> you eating pizza and lemon tea, herbal tea? All right. Um, she says, what are we talking about? We are talking about coping as a single person during our uh, time of social distance. That's what we're talking about today. And I decided to bring that topic up because a lot of people function in different ways. A lot of people deal with stress in different ways. And for the majority of people in the world who live with families and live with friends or have roommates who they are, you know, besties with, you know, fix this hair. people who they're friendly with, they have these great relationships with people. They're able to depend on people and talk with people who they depend on and connect with them. And I was having a conversation um, with someone earlier today and she was expressing to me that she was having a hard time. She hugged somebody. She told a friend and her friend was giving her the business. Like, you're not supposed to hug people at social distancing, blah, 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 blah. Blase, blase, splee, and some more things. So she got this stern talking to from a friend about following the rules of social distancing. To my understanding, the friend lives with husband, kids, family, etc. Meanwhile, the friend who talked about it is single, just like me. Oh, hey, hey, Colston Chinese. I was just talking about a conversation I had with a friend earlier today who mentioned that she was not feeling supported um, when she expressed that she hugged someone. You know what I mean, Colston? Um, just thinking about what it's like to be single and live by yourself in this world. Colson says, right on. Colson know what's up. What it means to be single during this quarantine time, during this time of social distancing. I am single. I live by myself. I see humans when I walk to the park for my fresh air. And it's hard. It's hard. Hmm? I'm gonna have a little sip. I'm super relaxed today. I think my last show I did on Friday, I was feeling a little anxious because I had just done my interview a couple days before um, with uh, George Bruno, huge YouTuber. And I was anxious, like, what if George Bruno people are going to be in my audience and thinking that I'm boring? But I'm just here to find my tribe. So if people want to see twerking and excitement, they need to go to another channel. 
I'll give you. I might look. I might give you a twerk. Maybe. Okay, I might. <laughs> Speaking of twerking, don't forget to check out my latest episode of Saycon Talks, the latest podcast episode. I do have a real deal podcast. It's available Anchor FM. You can get it. Um, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, wherever it is you find podcasts. Go to anchorfm.com. No, anchor.fm slash Saycon Talks. If you're having a good time and enjoying yourself, enjoying this vibe with me right now, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And share the link. Yeah, I'm going to put this in the comments. I don't know if it'll work. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. (laughs) These things, this technology. But so being single during this situation. It's a special little sort of thing. I have a lot of empathy. I must say, I spend a lot of time by myself. I, even before this situation, I'm very much a homebody. If you check out my Instagram, you'll see me at my house, making smoothies, making teas, just like padding around the house in my socks, 